Hi everyone and welcome back to Top Grade. My name is Spencer Miller and today I'm excited to introduce you to a brand new selection of books from Canadian authors and publishers. These early reader books are perfect for read-alouds in your classroom or for students who are starting to challenge themselves and get into some more difficult texts on their own. So many great books to talk about today, so let's get started. Where the Crooked Lighthouse Shines is a collection of narrative poetry written by Joshua Goody with wondrous illustrations from Craig Goody. It is published by Breakwater Books. I wish that I could be six years old again so that my mom could read me this book before bedtime. What I mean by that is that these poems brought me back to a real childhood place where the world is big and scary but also filled with fantasy and wonder. I also say that because this book is just meant to be read aloud. Drawing on Newfoundland and Labrador's long tradition of lyric storytelling, Goody makes expert use of rhythm and rhyme and whimsy to entertain readers and make them laugh out loud. The book also carries an important message about growing up, that even as you come to face problems, even big and scary ones, it is okay to hold on to a childlike sense of wonder and joy and hope in this world. The Museum of Odd Body Leftovers, published by Greystone Kids, is written by Rachel Pollockin with illustrations from Clayton Hanmer. This quirky and illustrated tour of leftover body parts introduces readers to the bizarre and fascinating science of evolution. Learn how parts of your body, like wisdom teeth, goosebumps, and hiccups that were essential to our ancestors but are no longer useful to us, are actually signs of evolution. Your reading experience is designed to feel like you are touring a museum. The table of contents is laid out like a museum map. Each spread of pages looks like a new exhibition or display, and there's even a gift shop at the end. And just like any good museum, you're going to want to visit again and again. With strong curriculum connections, this is a perfect book for engaging kids in STEM. The Museum of Odd Body Leftovers makes learning about evolution relevant and exciting. With strong curriculum connections, this is a great way to introduce your students to new STEM topics. From Anik Press and Sid Sharp, The Wolf Suit is a funny and touching debut graphic novel about the pressures of fitting in and the courage it takes to make new friends. The story is about Bellwether Rigwelter, a lovable but lonely sheep who just wants to go out and pick blackberries without being eaten by wolves. Bellwether comes up with a plan to keep himself safe by blending in. He creates a wolf suit disguise that works perfectly, until it doesn't. With humor and insight, this contemporary folktale puts a new twist on what it means to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. With themes of loneliness and masking, this story is really relatable to anyone who's ever felt like they had to change who they are in order to fit in. For some extra fun after you finish reading, let your students make their own paper wolf masks and howl around your classroom. The Raven Mother from Highwater Press is written by Bretti Hewson with illustrations from Natasha Donovan. This is the latest in the Mothers of Zan series, a series that tells stories from the perspective of animals found on the Gitsan's traditional territories. I was introduced to the Mothers of Zan series last year and was so impressed by it, I was really, really excited to get my hands on this sixth book. The Raven Mother transports young readers to the northwestern British Columbia to learn about the lives of ravens and why these acrobatic flyers are so important to their ecosystems. Readers will also come to appreciate the role of the raven in the traditions of the Gitsan stories and songs. With captivating language and illustrations, the Raven Mother does a great job in showcasing the depth and importance of the Gitsan's traditional ecological knowledge and drawing ties to Western science. This is a great way to introduce your students to STEM topics with an Indigenous perspective. Another book with science and history concepts is Asia and Baz Meet Mary Sherman Morgan. This is an early reader chapter book from Commandeer Press, written by Carolyn Fernandez, with pictures by Darmali Patel. In this story, best friends Aisha and Baz are challenged by their teacher to compete in a rocket creating competition where they have to see who can launch their paper rocket the farthest. To get some extra help with their project, Aisha and Baz travel back in time to 1957 to consult with rocket scientist Mary Sherman Morgan. They learn all about Mary's efforts to create a new rocket fuel, including the extra challenges she faced as a woman in science. 
The best part is that you can easily recreate Aisha and Baz's rocket challenge in your classroom. With just some paper and tape and cardboard rolls, you can test your students to see who can send their rocket flying the farthest. Our final book for today is The Unique Lou Fox, published by Pajama Press and written by Jody Carmichael. This chapter book for new readers will introduce you to Lou Fox, a fifth grader, a gymnast, a playwright. She is full of flair and personality, and she also has dyslexia and ADHD. These are all things that make Lou unique. She is also dealing with the many challenges of being a kid, like strict teachers, friendship troubles, and the expected arrival of a new baby sibling. Lou finds confidence throughout the story as she learns to communicate and be more open with her parents, teachers, and friends, and let them into her world. She soon realizes that those things that make her unique are worth embracing. The book includes dyslexia-friendly design choices like using Helvetica and open dyslexia typefaces, left alignment, and no broken words, and the book is available in accessible EPUB edition. At the end of the book, author Jody Carmichael, who has ADHD herself, also shares information and resources for readers to learn more about ADHD and dyslexia. I want to highlight the special relationship in this book between Lou and her teacher. At first, they don't get along and they don't understand each other, but by the end of the book, after some open conversations and some apologizing, the two get back on the same page and work together towards Lou's learning goals. This is a great example to you and your students, and I hope that it will open up similar conversations in your classroom. When you finish reading, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your students and ask them about how they like to learn best. This will let them know that you are on their team and that you can work together towards their learning goal. Those are all the books that we have to talk about today. On behalf of the Association of Canadian Publishers, thank you so much for watching. And I also want to give a big thank you to Ontario Creates for their continued support of the Top Grade program. Visit the new and improved topgradebooks.ca to watch more videos, to see and download book lists, to explore books by grade level, check out blog posts with reading and classroom activities, and more.